Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello, Carlos. Hi, Saul. Hello, Ruth. Fernando. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Marco. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Hi, let me see. Marco Antonio, hello. Hello. Hello, Fernando. Hi, Fernando. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Raul. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our session for today's class. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna start sharing, guys. Uh, just give me a couple of seconds. I don't know. Okay, so look at this. Um, in today's lesson, we're gonna be checking. Um. Okay, let me see. We have a tax. Okay, Juan Carlos, got it. Well, uh, for today's lesson, we're going to be checking um, intonation statements beginning with uh, time phrase. So we're going to learn how to pronounce. Uh, previously, we discussed about uh, time expressions, about time contrast. So now we're going to be checking how to pronounce these uh, time phrases correctly. So uh, you will have the chance to practice and personalize these phrases uh, using different tenses. So let's start, guys. Let me see. Okay. Cool. Here we have it. So let me know if you have any, if you find any problem, right? If you have any problem with this, uh, with the audio. Every home. Okay. Ready to work on pronunciation? What is the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase? Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. People used computers. Okay, so before doing that exercise, we're going to be checking the pronunciation. And remember, in here, you have a raising intonation at the beginning of your a time expression. So you have a raising intonation. Okay. And at the end, you have a falling intonation. Okay. When you finish your sentence. Okay. Uh, Let's read that together. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. So do you notice the difference? Yes, kind of. So do you notice the difference? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's read yeah. that together again. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, in the past, in the, today, people use computers all the time. In the future, computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer okay. in every home. Okay, in, the past, in, every home. in today, the past, 
today. 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 This is today. 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 In the future. In the future. 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 Another possibility. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay. Okay, so now let's see. Volunteers, who want to try reading that um, sentences? Who wants to try? Marco, do you want to try, Marco? Yes. Okay, go ahead. In the past, very few people use computers. Continue, continue with the okay. next two. Okay. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, good. Let's see, Raul, do you want to try, Raul? In the past, very few people use a computer. Today, people use computer at the time. In the future, there will be a big computer in every home. Okay, thanks, Raul. Um, yeah, you notice uh, the intonation is really important because you sound, when you listen to this, you sound like you're, uh, let's say, a reporter, right? So, or a journalist, like talking, like providing the news, right? In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, let's see. Uh, so you get the attention, right? So because if you read, um, let's say, in the, uh, the same breathing or intonation it sounds like too different right so you don't have intonation today people use computers all the time no today people use computers all the time in the future there will be a computer in every home let's see claudia do you want to try claudia uh, uh in the past in uh, the past very few people use a computer Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in very, every home. Okay, next, so we're gonna check some words. Uh, for example, used, 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 with used. T, used. Uh, used. In the past, very few people used computers. In the past, Many few people use computers. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. All the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Every, 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 every home. Every, every, every home. Okay, let's see. Irma, do you want to try Irma? Okay, let me see. Maybe somebody else. Uh, Saul. Yeah, Saul. I don't know. Have you tried, Saul? Okay. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, nice. So just to finish with that, I'm going to play that once more over here so you can listen to the examples back again. So just let me play that again. Computer. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete the statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, don't I used to. Two years ago, I, in five years, I. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is to practice uh, with these time expressions 
talking about um, something that you did as a child or something that, well, something, yeah, something that you did or something that changed. Uh, two years ago, I, in five years, I, so try to give me one example. Think about your examples. As a child, I used to, okay, so remember the intonation. As a child, I used to, as a child, I used to, Mm, okay. Right. I used to I used to play soccer. soccer. To play soccer. Okay. So, what is something that you used to do as a child? Play soccer. What else? As a child, I used to write poems. As a child, I used to play soccer. As a child, I used to. Uh, get up at. Maybe a a a n. Maybe two years ago, I I broke a leg. <laughs> uh, in five years, I a doctor, for example. In five years, I'll be a doctor. Okay, let's see. So write your examples. You're gonna have, uh, let's say, uh, two minutes. Think about it, two minutes. Think about it. Okay, let's see. Hey, Carlos, you ready, Carlos? Yep. Sí, que está escribiendo, pero igual voy a intentarlo. Okay. Uh, as a child, I used to um, do the type on, on the day. You used to? Can you repeat uh, the activity? Uh, see, I, I, I see the sky. I, I watch, watch the sky. Mm -hmm. You used to watch? Sky and cello? Oh, uh, you, uh, not really, not really. I I don't know if uh, you have problems with the microphone. Se escucha un poquito cortado. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Or maybe you can type it. también en el chat. So then you read it. As a child, I used to. What you used to do as a child? Let me see. We're going to continue with our second. Uh, Claudia, Claudia, tell us. You ready? I read teacher. Okay, so tell us. Share your examples. I actually use it to computer. Two okay. years ago, I traveled to Atlantic. Mm -hmm. In five years, I will be uh, re retiring or re ¿Cómo se dice jubilación? Retire. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so as a child, as a child, as, as a child, as a child. As a child. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to um so uh, you, repeat it, repeat it, please. As a child, I used to I as a child used to computer. I used to use to used to used to use to computer. Ah, okay. So as a child, I used to use computers. I used to use computers. I used to use computers okay two years ago two years ago i traveled to atlantic okay i traveled traveled i traveled, traveled to to atlantic okay, to atlantic 
Atlantic Ocean, you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, in five years, I'll... In five years, I will be retiring. Retired. Retired. Okay. Retired. Retired. Okay. Retired. Okay, good, Claudia. Let me see. We have some more. Fernando. Ready, Fernando? Uh, uh, yes, uh, sorry. Uh, well, um, uh, when I was a child, um, I used uh, to uh, boots. You used to do what? Sorry. Uh, I use um, uh, boots. Uh, botas. <laughs> Lo siento. Ah. You used to wear boots. Wear, wear. You used to wear boots. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Continue. Uh, okay. Um, two years ago, um, I uh, I uh, started um, mechanica. Uh, it, uh, mechanica automotriz is a uh, Automotive mechanical or something like that? Um, it's a little bit different, but let me look for that. Um, not, I think mechanic. Mechanic. Mechanics. Okay, we're gonna be checking that. Um, let me see. And your last example. Okay, in uh, five years, I will uh, work in a call center. Yeah, call center. Okay, nice. Juan Carlos, you ready? Solo para decirme que lo voy a ponerlo ahí en el chat. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Juan Carlos, Cubías, you ready, Juan Carlos? No, teacher, wait me. One moment, please. I am driving. Okay, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Hi, teacher. Voy manejando casa. Okay, Juan Carlos. Carlita. Ready, Carlita. Okay, let's see. Marco, Marco, ready, Marco? Yes. Okay. As a child, I used to play soccer. Two years ago, I used to read a lot. Five years, I will be a sound te technician. Okay, good. Excellent. So you, so you know what you're going to do. Okay, perfect. Marco. Let me see. Um, Raul? Okay, Ruth Amaya. Hello, Ruth. You ready, Ruth? Okay, let me see. Saul, go ahead, Saul. As a child, I used to use my bicycle okay two years ago i went to guatemala river oh interesting in five years i like to go to um, europe <laughs> europe okay nice Okay, so yesterday you were talking about traveling and buying and selling cars. So now you're thinking about Europe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that's good. Okay, so we'll continue with our second objective, uh, which is, um, look at this, this one. In this class, you listen to an audio and make the exercises. As you listen, you develop skills in listening for main ideas. So for better or worse. 
okay? So I recommend you to take some notes, okay? So we're going to be listening to a woman, a man. Uh, we're going to be checking what do they say about some, uh, let's say, about that. Uh, about the changes in their neighborhoods. Okay, you ready to take notes? Yes? Okay, so I'm going to charge that again. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here, otherwise you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. Okay, so we're going to answer the first three questions. So the woman, uh, what is she talking about, guys? I don't know if it's a transportation or something. Transportation, population, families, environment, cities, or shopping. Okay, so we're going to listen to the audio a second time and then uh, try to take some notes about what she or he uh, says, right, during the conversation. So let's see, let's start again. Okay, it's not responding. Okay, here we go. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, 
It's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay, so what do you think? Page that, 60. What do you think about uh, the first topic? So which, uh, what is she talking about? Population, transportation, families, environment, cities, shopping? Population. Population? Environment. Environment. Okay, so we have two opinions, population and environment. Somebody else? Shopping. Marco? Shopping. Shopping. Okay, let me see. Somebody else? Claudia, Fernando, Emma, Juan Carlos, Carlita? What do you environment. think? Environment. 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 Okay, so we got three for environment. Let's see. Men, how about the second conversation? What are they talking about? Transportation. Transportation. Did they mention something? Uh the what do you what do you um understood? What do you understand about it? So why uh, why is it about transportation? What is the problem with transportation? Everybody had to use cars. Mm -hmm. If people want to use the public transportation or buses, they have to wait a lot. Mm, okay, good. And the last one, the women, what is the topic about? Shopping, I think. Families. 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 Why so? Why families? What is the problem in this case? Families. So she mentioned something about young families in the past. Young families in the past used to have... They used just, just buy uh, something, like a house or something like that. They mm -hmm. just buy a, buy a house. So they chop in a house. So you think it's shopping? Okay. Yeah, it's shopping um, a house. And they... Okay, so we're going to listen to the conversation again. So we're going to leave yeah, family. It is a city. Okay. It is okay. in a city. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about somebody else? What do you think? Families? Shopping? Cities? Okay, so I'm going to play that again. So pay a close attention to, to that. Let's see. Okay, maybe I can play it here. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two, how do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full.
Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change, and if things are better... Okay, so now, look at this. Um, so, remember that whenever you have a listening like this, you have to take notes, right? So, that's important uh, because you're going to... Well, so you're, you can join some of the pieces that you have in order to, um, let's say, understand what they want to say, right? So on the first conversation, they were talking about environment, right? So he was asking about how things have changed in the neighborhood. So she was saying that uh, this uh, city has become a nicer place to live, right? Because in the past, they didn't have a lot of trees. And nowadays, the uh, city has planted a lot of trees, right? Everywhere. About the second one. For the second, what do they say about the second conversation, guys? Second conversation. About a transportation, teacher. Oh, yeah. You gotta about a transportation. Uh -huh. You gotta be better transportation bus. Uh, well, they talk about uh, about the system transportation because um, he says there have a car for the distance. I think, and the and the bus station is uh, so far and no, and the the bus is in is not too much. I think. Yeah, there are not too many buses, right? Because, well, in the past, there used to be a good bus system, but now, not anymore, right? Because, well, they don't think that's a necessity, right? So it's getting worse and worse. So um, it's like when you travel, right, to, let's say, to, <laughs> to a far, far place. And there's no any bus, right? So there are some places here in El Salvador with the bad uh, bus system. And for the last conversation, what are they talking about? Do you get this uh, right? The last one? Oh, families. Mm hmm what did they say about it? Well, she was mentioning something about couples, right? So 20 years ago, there were lots of couples with kids playing all around, right, the place. So now she missed the sound of kids playing. So families, right? Okay, nice. So now we'll continue. with our next lesson objective, which is um, by the end of this class, you learn how to use conditional sentences with if clauses. So in order to do that, we're gonna be checking some uh, examples. We're gonna be checking the structure and we're gonna be checking some common uh, uh, examples, okay? So can you see that? So can you see that presentation? Yes. Okay, good. So we're going to be talking about the first conditional. Look at this. Okay. If I catch a goldfish, I'll be very rich. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? <laughs> Maybe a shark is okay. <laughs> uh, even if you <laughs> don't get a goldfish, you can get a, a, a shark. But that's okay. Look at this. Uh, what is the form for these... Uh, First conditional. 
So we're going to need an if clause plus simple present plus a, a future simple or future simple plus simple present. So the um, order of these two classes uh, it's not really important. So the if class can be at the beginning and the simple future class can be um, in the second place or vice versa. Okay, so let's see. Look at this, if class, main class. So we have two classes. It means two sentences. Remember that whenever you have a conditional sentence, uh, there will be a reason or a consequence of something. Look at this, main class and if class. So the order of that elements, it's not really important. So if you place the if clause here at the beginning, you need a comma, right? But if not, um, you just add if. Uh, if you start with the main clause, then you place if, uh, the if clause. So there is no comma needed, needed in here. Okay, so just in this case. So look, at, just if you place the if clause here, you, you need a comma. Let's see. Any questions so far about it? Okay, so look at this. Here we have some examples. Uh, so can you read the first example? If I find her address, I will send her an invitation. Okay. Or the opposite. Or I will send her an invitation if I find her address. Okay. And you may be asking, when do we use this first conditional? When um, things are possible to happen or likely to happen in the future. So that's when you use um, this uh, condition. Let's see. So remember, if you have the if clause at the beginning, you place a comma here. If I find her address, I'll send her an invitation. Or you can also say, I will send her an invitation if I find her address. Let's see, examples. Jose, can you read that example? Let me see. Oh, let's see, Marco, Marco, help us, Marco. Uh, if John has the money, He'll buy a Ferrari. John will buy a Ferrari if he has the money. Okay, nice. And then we have the negative classes. If I don't see Tim at school, I'll phone him in the evening. My mom, okay, won't be very happy if I get bad grades, right? Joe won't get any chocolate if he doesn't eat his lunch. So for the negative classes, what you need to do is to add a don't, right? If I don't, if you don't, if she doesn't, if he doesn't, if, um, well, it doesn't, right? Let's see. We're gonna be checking some more examples. Look at this. If I don't see Tim at school, I'll phone him in the evening. My mom won't be very happy if I get bad grace. Joe won't get any chocolate if he doesn't eat his lunch. Look at the following examples. And here we have a short sure description. An action in the future will only happen if a certain condition is fulfilled. Okay, so we don't know for sure whether the condition will be fulfilled or not, but the condition seems realistic. So we think it's likely to happen. So remember, as I was mentioning, uh, uh, when you use this first conditional, you're thinking about something that will or not uh, happen in the future that you expect to happen, right? Let's see. For example, if I find her address, I'll send her an invitation. I want to send an invitation to a friend. I just have to find her address. 
I'm quite sure that I will find it. So that's a sure explanation for that example. Let's see, uh, could you help us, uh, Raul, with the second example and the uh, explanation, please? John will. Mm -hmm. John will buy a Ferrari. Is he has the money? I know John very well, and know that he has a lot of money, and that he loves Ferrari. So I think. It's a very likely he will soon have enough money to buy Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So remember, there's a condition and there's a result. If I find her address, I'll send her an invitation. John will buy a Ferrari if he has the money. Okay, so let's see. We have some examples. So let's see if you uh, got it. Okay. So what do you think? If you dive into this river, you, I'm gonna help you with the first. If you dive into this river, so what is going to happen? You guys? You will hurt. You will hurt Hearts. yourself. Okay, we're good. Number two, what do you think? Number two, if it rains, uh huh, if it rains, children will play outside. Negative will not or not. or won't, right? Won't. Play outside. Outside. Cool. Richard, number three. Richard? Richard, Richard what? Uh huh. Richard walked to the school. Mm -hmm. Richard walks to school. Richard walks to school. Yes. If not, he missed the bus. Okay, so what do you think about that sentence? Richard walks to school if he missed the bus. Mm. So we're omitting something. So we need uh, the will sentence, the simple future sentence. So where can I add that? Remember, the first conditional, you need a sentence in the simple present and the other one in the simple future. So I'm gonna help you with that one. Richard will walk to school if he misses the bus. Number four, uh, four what do you think? Venice is a place. If I, so can you conjugate that? If I be in a Venice, in Venice. If I'm in Venice, okay, Venice. So what will happen? I will rent a boat. I'll rent, okay, I'll rent a boat. Okay, cool. If I'm in Venice, I'll rent a boat. Let's see.
So there you have the examples. Okay, so try to um try with that one. Michael's teacher. So what do you think? Michael's teacher on his parents if he write text messages during the lessons. Michael teacher uh, call mm -hmm. will call from his parents mm -hmm. uh, if he write text right. message during the lessons. Uh -huh. Messages during the, the lesson. lesson. Okay, cool. So Michael's teacher will phone his parents if he writes text messages during the lessons. Number six. What do you think, guys? If she answered this question correctly, she get an extra point. If she answers she answer the question correctly, she will if get an answers, extra, uh -huh. extra point. So what is going to happen if she answers this question correctly? She will get an extra point. Uh -huh. She will get an extra point. Okay. Number seven, my sister. My sister will be an angry. Mm, okay. My sister will be angry angry if i if i just turn on the music too loud i turn on the music right. too loud okay good so let's see how you did it so i'm gonna send you the screenshot so you can have the examples because we're gonna have a, a short practice soon. Let me see. Okay, so just a screenshot. Okay, so here we have another exercise. Look at this, uh, first conditional. Remember, we need two clauses, one if clause and one main clause. Uh, the if clause is in the simple present and the main clause will be in the future simple sentence. If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. If it rains, he won't play outside. So we have a positive or a negative. Or you can do this, uh, the opposite, or the way around, the other way around, which is uh, starting with the main clause and then the if clause. He will bring his umbrella if it rains. He won't play outside if it rains. But when you place the if clause at the beginning, you need to place a comma. If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. But when you start with the main clause, you, need, you don't need a comma. He will bring his umbrella if it rains. Let's see, let's try with these examples. Remember, we're gonna be using this conditional in order to talk about things that may possible, uh, possibly happen in the future. If we, if we don't arrive on time, our teacher will be angry. I'll watch TV if I have time. If he gets up at six at five o'clock, what is going to happen, guys? 
if he gets up at five o'clock, what do you think? If he gets up at five o'clock? He will be early. Okay, he will be early. Okay, early for work. Okay, so we will be hungry. We will be hungry. If we don't eat any fruits. Any, okay, if we don't eat anything. If the phone rings. I'll answer the uh, call. I'll answer the call, okay. I will laugh if, <laughs> okay, so when are you going to laugh? I will laugh if. I will watch a comedy movie. Okay, yeah, watch a comedy movie. What's your favorite comedy movie, by the way? Grown Up. Uh, what? Uh, well, growing up, I think, son como niño. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, I haven't seen that yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Let's see. Number seven. If our exam isn't tomorrow. So what is going I to will, happen? I will. I will be studying. Okay, I'll be studying. I'll study. Um, okay, look at this. I'll be studying or I'll study. Simple future. I'll study. About the next one. They won't buy a new car if they got the money. They don't have money. Mm -hmm. oh, if they won't they buy don't. a car if they don't. They don't. I've got the money. Mm -hmm. Have the money or the money. Yeah. Okay. If you hit me, I will call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you hit me, I'll call my mom. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Imagine. And your mom. Uh, <laughs> so what are you saying? <laughs> You're too old. <laughs> to complain. Uh, okay. Let me see. I'm going to send you the example so you can check that. Okay, so see if we got it. Okay, so here we have some exercises. I'm going to send you the link if you want. You can do it with me or you can... Um, you can open the link and you can do it on your own. So I'm going to send you the link. So there you have it. Let's see. Number one. Let's see. I'm going to be asking you one by one. Maybe the first one is for, let's see. Okay. Carlos. Carlos Alberto. Carlos. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about this exercise? Which is the correct answer for this sentence? The ball. Uh-huh. If you? If you repair my bike. Okay. Will, so, we can walk somewhere. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, good. That's okay. Number two, let's see. Volunteer, maybe Claudia. What do you think, Claudia? It would be too hot if he travels to Greece in August. Okay. Okay, so it'll be too hot if he travels to Greece in August. 
Good. Let's see, number three. Fernando, what do you think, Fernando? Uh, if Peter sits on the sofa, his sister will sit next to him. Mm -hmm. If Peter sits on the sofa, his sister will sit next to him. Okay. Number five, I think that's five or four. Irma, what do you think, Irma? Maybe Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Maravilla. The policeman will tell you the way if you. Guys, what do you think? Will. Will. Sorry, the answer is ask. Okay, ask. Ask. Okay, so let's yeah, check that. Good, excellent. So how about the next one? Let me see, um, Carlita. What do you think? If it uh, will snow, snow, snow in the Alps, it will rain in the in Munich. Let's see, let's help Carlita, Marco. If it, it snows in the Alps, it will rain in Munich. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. We have so more. Um, how about you, Raul? Or Ruth? Oh, Raul. I will lend you my laptops. If you promise to be carried with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So careful, careful, careful. Ruth, what do you think, Ruth? If you add some tomatoes, the sauce. Hmm. I never seen us. Well, there are some sauces without tomatoes, right? So, but what do you think? If you add some tomatoes, the sauce. Taste, taste, or will taste. Guys, what do you think? Help Ruth, please. Will taste. Will taste. Will taste. taste. Okay. Let's see. Uh, sentence eight. What do you think? If I find you, finds, will find. 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 Okay. How about this one? If Ton Ton don't pull his string. Mm -hmm. If Ton one pull, don't pull or doesn't pull this string. Doesn't pull. Okay, let's check that. Last one. Remember, simple present and then future. Okay, how about this one? <clears throat> we'll get lost if we forget. 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 Okay, excellent. So you're getting uh you're getting it. Okay. We have just two more. How about these? I, my exam. I want to pass. I won't pass my exams if I don't study. Yes, you have to study. And the last one, but not least one. What do you think? If she comes. Pass. Pass. Okay. Okay, if she has a cell phone. She'll use it a lot. Okay, very good job, guys. Um, we're finished with that. So we got a nice uh, score. 
let's see uh well sadly we have to finish but tomorrow we'll continue we're gonna have some more uh, activities in order to practice speaking so please don't miss the classes right remember that we just have an hour and that's not enough so we need a lot of time right uh, well we need this hour actually Okay, let me see. Um, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado, say present if you're here, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, by the way, have you sent the uh, requirements, the manual? Have you sent that to English? Uh, uh... Recuerden, eh, se les está solicitando ahí apoyo, chicos, que envíen ahí. Creo que es la portada que tienen que enviar con su nombre. Um, también está pidiendo algunos documentos. No sé si ya les pidieron a ustedes o era el otro grupo, pero este, a, traten de enviar la documentación ya para irse inscribiendo al siguiente módulo. Ahorita tenemos próximamente una semana para que ustedes envíen la documentación. Me parece que hoy la están solicitando. Así que envíenla lo más pronto posible para que pueda inscribirse en el próximo módulo. Vamos, Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Del, del, para el proceso de inscripción. Sí, correcto, para el proceso mm. de inscripción. Ok, ahorita me parece que las han estado solicitando. Se traten ahí de, de, de apoyar con eso ustedes para que también ahí puedan tratar de, de resolver con tiempo. Ahorita me parece que han estado obteniendo la documentación. Vamos, el próximo módulo, no sé cuándo se va a iniciar, pero nosotros vamos a terminar aproximadamente dentro de una, eh, creería yo que como cuatro o cinco días, creo que vamos a, vamos, vamos terminando. Entonces, este, ahí traten, traten de apoyarnos ahí con eso. Igual, este, creo que están pendientes también ahí de cómo van ustedes. Pero cualquier cosa, siempre recuerden que ahí está en el chat, hay varias personas que les pueden apoyar. A veces un poco lento la cuestión porque tratan varios grupos, pero igual, eh, sus solicitudes siempre son importantes, así que siempre eh, pregunten, también pregunten. Ok, uh, veamos ahí Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present. Ok, Irma. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Juan Carlos Cubilla Bonilla. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Vigail Aguilar. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano Guizabal. Present. Thank you, Marco. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present. Thanks, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth Amaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl Alexander López. De Lozano, perdón. Present. Ok, thanks. Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero. Ok, yeah, so that's all for today. I'll see you in our next class. So remember, be on, we'll try to be on time as well. And uh, we have a class tomorrow. So have a good night, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow.
Saul, do you have questions, Saul? No, teacher. So, okay, Saul. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow.